the scriptures. And this is one of the most powerful ways to pray. Sometimes we wonder, how do I hear God speak to me? Well, one of the most basic ways that we hear the Lord speaking to us is through praying the scriptures. And I want to share with you two amazing ways to pray the scripture. Um, the first one I, is, is just called listening to the word. Um, if you have a, some kind of a smartphone or an iP- iPod um, or a CD player, you can get the Bible. Um, it's very easy on your phone. Um, you can go to Bible Gateway or a similar app. There's many apps and that will give you access to um, literally dozens of audio Bibles for free. And so something that I do almost every single day um, is I just listen to the Word of God. And this, people are like, well, that's not prayer. No, this is a way of praying. It's a way of praying. So first of all, have a set-apart time. Um, And the beautiful thing about this is it can be in your car. Uh, It can be on your commute. If if you have a job where you, you like to listen to podcasts or or teachings or things like that. It can be at your job. Um, it can be, you know, any time of day. It can be in the morning. It can be at the night. But the point is you're, you're setting apart time and you're going to listen to the word. Um, and it can be any part of the scriptures. I encourage people to kind of do two things. Um, one is try and listen to the whole Bible. So it's important that we don't just focus on certain parts, but we kind of get a sense of what the whole scripture is saying. That's one side. The other thing I'd encourage you is if there's a part of the scripture where you feel God is particularly present, it is totally fine and legitimate. It's really good to focus on that. If you're like, man, every time I listen to the book of Romans, I just feel like God is so close to me. Well, keep listening to Romans until that goes away. Once that feeling goes away, uh, maybe it's time to move on to something else. But but that can be just a sign that God is really speaking to you something significant through that passage. So set apart time to listen to the word. Uh, turn on the scriptures and then just allow it to wash over you. Um, now, you're going to be getting more scripture than you know what to do with. It's going to be coming so fast you're not going to be able to process it all. You're not going to be able to think through all the implications of everything. And that's fine. Just let it wash over you. Um, Just let it wash over you. You're taking a bath. You're taking a shower in the word. It's all good. Um, It's not like drinking the water where you you get all the water. It's it's washing you, and that's perfect. Uh, But as that happens, you might notice certain phrases or certain things that jump out to you. And what I'd encourage you to do is just chew on those. It's okay if you miss some of what comes later. Just let that become a meditation in your heart, thinking about that particular scripture, particular word that's highlighted to you. And then finally, after your time of listening to the word is over, um, just continue to meditate on what you heard that day. Um, So that can just be filling your heart with this just a beautiful meditation um, and contemplation as you go about your day. Um, I love to do this in the morning, uh, just start my day in this manner. um, And then I just find myself throughout the day just feeding off of whatever I read that morning, Um, bringing it up in conversation. It's just so natural to talk about what you've heard that morning. So that's one way that you can pray the scriptures and encounter God, have a conversation of your heart with God in prayer through listening to the scriptures. I want to share a second way of praying through the scriptures, and this is often called just praying through the word. Um, So first of all, you need to choose a Bible passage. Um, Any of the Psalms work great for this, but there's so many amazing parts of the Bible you could choose to pray. So choose a passage and then read, secondly, read a verse or phrase from that passage. So I'm just going to model it a little bit right now out of Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. So you read out a part of the passage. And then you pray off of that. So I'm going to read it again. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. Father, I just thank you that there is a blessing, um, Lord, for the man who does not listen to those who are ungodly. Lord, I just thank you um, that you are calling me to be the kind of person who does not heed the counsel of the ungodly. Lord, I want to pray for my family, Lord, 
that they would be blessed by you, that they would not listen to bad counsel. Uh, Lord, I want to pray for um, our government, Lord. I want to pray that our government, Lord, would not be influenced by the counsel of ungodly counselors. So that's just one little passage there. And as you can see, um, it can lead you in a variety of directions of prayer. Prayer for yourself personally, prayer for those close to you, prayer for your nation, prayer for the nations of the earth. Um, and just after doing that, you just rinse and repeat. So go on to the next phrase. Nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Lord, I want my heart to delight in your law. Lord, I pray that my family, my children would delight in your law, in your word. Lord, I just say your word is a delight to my heart. Lord, I just thank you so much for your law. Lord, I would be so lost if I didn't have you directing me. So I'm just giving you a little bit of an example here of what that looks like. This pattern of prayer, um, I, I would just encourage you, practice it. Practice it. Take a week. Take seven days. Um, and, and do one of these two ways of praying the Scripture, either listening to the Scripture every day or praying through the Word every day. This is an enriching spiritual practice that you can do on your own. And after you've done it on your own, uh, it's going to be something that's really going to enrich your corporate times of prayer with the Bible. Passage.